Gosh, what an experience. It was it something you enjoyed or oh, I, I completely find it quite stressful enjoyed it. to watch no. for some of you. You know what? The new format is so much fun. Everybody was so amazing to work with. It was kind of a rebirth to my music career in some sense. I look at Simon, Nicole, and Louie as people first and judges second. Yeah. You know, I think that the chitter chatter before kind of put me in a place of like, oh God, okay, wait, now we have to sing. I'm very vulnerable. Oh my God, I've never sung in front of people. Okay, cool, let's do this thing. Yeah. So, you know, I'm really excited that it opened up a whole new journey for me. Yeah. Um, but I'm sad that obviously my journey on The X Factor is over. It's a very different thing to stand yeah. there and do that alone. Of course You know, but the thing is, is I'm, I'm so excited that I've had this experience and it's just, uh, I have some amazing things coming up that are gonna be back in the music world and I can't wait to just continue to grow. Yeah, of course. And to find my voice through it. Well, it's funny that you talk about the judges there beforehand. They mentioned your dad. Yeah. And it's an interesting one because obviously your dad's a huge music career. Yeah. Everyone knows David Hasselhoff. Thank you. Um, and lots of people would obviously assume, oh my gosh, what a gorgeous I picture. know, isn't it amazing? Um, it's one of my favorites. A lot of people would assume obviously that all these doors are open to you because of that. Yeah. But in fact, that's not always the case. It, no, it actually can you know, hold you back. My Nice. My dad taught me and my sister from a very young age that the only way to make it in this industry is hard work, passion, and drive. And that's exactly what I've done. And you know, everything that I've accomplished has been on my own merit. And I think at the end of the day, you know, I'm an actress and I'm known for fashion. Music has always been something that's been a part of my family, but it's not something that I'm known for. So this is a very different, vulnerable experience. I'm very excited for it. Um, but you know, this is my journey and I wanna make people realize that this is this is me coming out there on my own. Yeah, yeah, you're doing it. But you talk about fashion, of course, it's still a big part of your life as Huge. well, and modeling and everything else. And you're very passionate about people feeling yep. good about themselves. I am indeed. And it's trying to change that, isn't it? I mean, it's still, it's getting better. I think people oh, are yeah. a bit more accepting, aren't they? You know, they? size but... inclusivity is a big topic that we keep speaking about. And it's something that you just, people always say, how do you change it? And it's just having that conversation more and more. Um, there was a study that just came out that Simply B did for their new icons campaign. And it was about, that 84% of women feel like we've actually made huge strides in the fashion industry, but 81% still feel like we're ticking off a box. Mm. So it's a very interesting world that we're in today. When the catwalks, I think that we have, have made so many amazing strides having diversity, but um, where there's still a long way to go with campaigns and being able to say that beauty comes in all different shapes and sizes. Yeah, and always has and always will. Always has and always I will. I don't get why it's such a I big mean, hey, to everybody. It's only just now been spoken about in the media, but it's been around since the day that it started. Of course, of course. And, but you do a lot of that on, on telly in America I as well, do. don't you? So it's you know, fashion I, is I a big work, part of yeah, it. Yeah, I work as a Good Morning America's makeover host. I obviously do a curve style spot here on this morning. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and I work in many different arenas when it comes to fashion, not just obviously in modeling. Um, so it's it's a blessing, it really is. Yeah, but you spent, how do you divvy up your time now between America and here? I mean, girl, I can't even tell you. I'm flying between America. That was why when I did the show, it was a lot because I did, a, I, I'm on a CBS show called Why Women Kill right now. I shot that. I went to New York for an appearance. Then I came and did X Factor. My mind was completely in a whirlwind when I had to sing. I was like, <laughs> what continent am I on? Who am I? Where, what's going on? So, you know, it was it was a lot. I fly back and forth every week, so it's a, it's well, a journey the, a, a in itself. Well, a British man has stolen your heart, you uh, You know what, he is, and that's a big reason why I come back and forth so often. <laughs> it's worth that it. That one day, that one day with a man makes it worth it. <laughs> How cute! Oh, wow, are. it's so big! <laughs> it looks so good, doesn't oh, it? That, that was, was actually on my birthday. Oh, was it? It was. It was, it was kind of love at first sight, really. It was. It? You know, it's funny, because I was single for six years before I met him, and I was traveling for work and it was really hard to find somebody who understood my career um, and wanted to support me in all the right areas. And when we met each other, it just clicked. I met him literally on a Saturday. I mean, I knew his family before, so don't seem like this is weird, but I met him on a Saturday. He came up to my hotel on a Wednesday for a date and he ended up staying with me because I was living in hotels and it's just, uh, it's been inseparable ever since. Meant to be. You know what? what? Say. Hey, I know you're taking it as well, so I'm sure you have a similar story. Absolutely, as it should be. Haley, it's so great to see so you, actually, because I watched you at the weekend and I thought, oh, it's not nice with Louis having to say, okay, it's it's over. You know, but, as you say, it's, it's not the, the end step, of my, so. my music journey for yeah. my own self. It's the end of my ex journey, but I'm very excited to see what's to come.